removal or beneficial effect while within the eh? I think you don't need to select Dark Magic Knight in the one year anniversary exchange here. Yeah. Hello, I'm Storyteller. I remember, so you don't have to. Well, as you know, a new collaboration is a start, yeah. Slayers, Lina Imbos, Kauri, and Jergadis, and Amelia and Jeros will be later, yeah. For now, mm, there are three collaboration monsters, and each monster have a LD attribute, so if you want to get that, you should make them for awakening, it means 5 boom level, and max affiliate. <laughs> and as you can see, if you make full affinity and full awakening, then you can get dark or light monster. Yep. Of course, I don't know this monster's performance yet, so let's find a look together. Yep. This is just a review. So the first, Lena Inverse. Yeah, I know this animation. It is very nostalgic animation in Korea. Anyway, uh, mage and mage attack have a weak point attack. Interesting, yeah. Um, first skill, Loon Player. Attack the enemy <gasps> 9 times. Single target and greater damage taken off and... Oh? Increases summoner's ultimate gauge if each... 9 times weak point attack damage taken off? This attack ignores target's beneficial effect. Oh. When using a skill, become immune to CC. Oh. <laughs> Ignore target's damage mitigation effect and apply damage taken off. Oh. And weak point attack increases ultimate gauge. So. Ultimate gauge 9% increases and damage taken off. That seems very good, yeah. And second skill, Dragon Slave! Push the enemies to front and attack enemy within the range, remove immunity and grant oblivion. Wow. Oblivion silence, but if there is a immunity, she can't do nothing, yeah. But remove immunity first and apply oblivion. <laughs> That's insane. And passive. Genius Sorceress increases ultimate gauge of the team member each time. Huh? When team member use soul link skill increases. Ah, oh wait. Then on soul link, if she using skill, nine percent. And when I using soul link skill, six percent. It means fifteen percent. <gasps> wow. And ultimate. Ultimate Dragon Slave, yeah, remove immunity and oblivion. Seems very interesting, yeah. You can use ultimate more faster and damage taken off, ignore damage mitigation effect, and remove immunity and oblivion. She is a mage, so attacking frontline. Then Dark Hell Lady. Mm, let's say goodbye to Dark Hell Lady. Remove immunity and oblivion. Da -da 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 -da. And shield immunity, whatever. <laughs> And next is Kauri, yeah. Kind swordman. Mm -hmm. Mage attack, just mage attack, warrior. Uh, first skill, move quickly, enemy target two times, grant them critical damage of itself. Oh, it's good. So, PvE monster, I think, yeah. Damage dealt of 100% and defense penetration. I think it's just good for mm, PvE content. And second skill, descent. Strike the ground or take enemy wide area. Uh, and grant critical damage taken off. Ah, uh, so critical damage off himself and apply critical damage taken off to enemy. Okay. And also penetrate damage and attacking creature damage dealt off. Yeah, it's just PBE, I think. Genius Swordman. Increases critical rate when you attack crit. Eh? Okay. Oh? Huh? Critical rate of 100? Current mana regeneration speed up to team summoner every time raid or pass or adventure? Including both. So I don't need to take care about critical rate. Just maximize damage. And every second mana regeneration speed up. Interesting. Wind. Jelgadis. He's a chimera. Yeah. Basic attack. Yeah. Basic attack. He's also a warrior. 
First skill. Damn brass. Throw a gravity spear. Poor enemy. Damage stun. Hmm. Skill range. Ooh. Pretty wide. Anyway, second skill. Bomb the wind. Yeah. Spell name in Slayers. Create a wind location up to four enemy within the damage inflict AOE. Remove two beneficial effect, fixed chance, and each hit. Oh. Grant damage taken up, airborne target, this attack, penetrate, dark, um, wide area, remove and apply damage taken up, it's always good, yeah, and airborne, uh, similar with the uh, fire fairy king, I think, remove two beneficial effect, airborne, yeah, but he have defense penetration, and passive, rock golem's power, grants defense of itself and Wow, 10% rate, but attack, not a skill attack, so basic attack, skill attack, whatever, 10% rate, depends on, like, looks like a light monkey king legendary artifact, <laughs> so defense based dealer, have a remove beneficial effect, damage taken off, okay, yeah, ultimate bomb the wand, remove 3 beneficial effect, yeah, okay, Seems not bad. Mm -hmm. And let's find about LD. Yep. So let's see about Dark Attribute. Lina Inverse. Yeah. Let's see. Basic attack. Oh, same. Ooh, weak point attack magician. Yeah. First skill. Attack the enemy. Range. Grand damage taken off. Afterward. Launches enemies within the range into the air with a fixed chance. Ah, airborne. Air wide area. Attack. Damage taken off. And airborne. Too simple, yeah. Maybe I should combine her with Fire Fairy King. And uh, second skill, Laguna Blade. <laughs> okay, remove all beneficial effect while within the eh? similar with the uh, Dark Magic Knight. Yeah. Oh, uh, inflict damage. Yeah, remove all beneficial effect and apply damage after. This is very good. Grant a mana regeneration. Oh, check one. Oh, three. Eh? Attribute advantage damage and remove success. Mana regeneration speed up? If the caster has energy of dark, rune prayer one time. Oh, uh, not this. Rune prayer. Attack the target six times. Oh, defense down. And ignore target's beneficiary. Whoa. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's literally uh, similar with the dark magic knight. But Dark Mage Knight have a loot, which has lots of counter now, but she doesn't have nothing. And Mana Regeneration Speed Up, instead of loot, Mana Regeneration Speed Up, and Attribute Advantage Damage, and Passive Amplify Magic Power. Grants Endure, oh! Endure and Immunity? It's like a Water Ifrit, yeah, and... When a team member uses the Soul Link skill two times, energy of dark. Ah! Soul Link skill, Soul Link skill, energy of dark, and Lagna blade. Well, I think she is good with the Thunderstorm set, yeah. Using skill two times faster than five mana cost. <laughs> and ultimate, ultimate Lagna blade. Weak point attack available, attribute advantage damage, mana regeneration speed up, yeah, seems awesome, yeah. I think you don't need to select Dark Magic Knight in the one year anniversary exchange, yeah, because it seems like literally same, yeah. Removal ore, deal damage, additional skill depends on. Oh, mana regeneration speed up and attribute advantage attack is much more good, I think, yeah. That's much more better than Dark Magic Knight, yeah. Oh, okay. So, Kaori, Light Attribute. Oh, Sword is Change. Yeah, just a sword. Light Sword. Wing. Let's see, Basic Attack? Yeah, just Basic Attack. First skill, Strike Slash, two times, inflict damage, and remove two beneficial effects each hit. Wow, two times, so he can remove four beneficial effects at once. And apply defense down, and if, if defense is higher than target, chain slash. Ignore target's damage mitigation effect, critical damage taken off. Uh, second skill, light sword. Block beneficial effect, 
and attribute advantage. Hmm. So apply block beneficial effect first, and apply depends down. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And passive light gains immunity against pull and aim. So immune to pull and root. Yeah. And if a harmful effect is applied to itself, grant immunity. Oh. And when the enemy attempts to grant loot on a team member, use strike slash cool. That's why cooldown 20 seconds. And when receiving a harmful effect, immunity. At least there is no remove harmful effect itself. Yeah, just to apply immunity. It means if apply block beneficial effect, um, depends up and immunity will gone. I think. Think about Night Monkey King. Using second skill, then he already have immunity, and use strike slash sung song, so it can remove four beneficial effect. So depends up by and apply depends down. Can I make his depends more higher than Light Monk King? I don't know, but hmm, ignore target damage reduction effect and apply critical damage taken off. Hmm. Counter of root monster, yeah. Hmm. Okay, just counter like a uh, fire monkey king, I think. And dark is a uh, Jerogadis. That's oh, basic attack. Yeah, just basic attack. And first skill, Damdras. Crafty spear. Eh, just same. When placed in the center, stun. Done. Second skill, unleash the dark magic that travels through ground, even the damage based on it in front of them. Grant your block beneficial effect after removing one beneficial effect and use Pepe Spring! Ah! Pepe Spring! Oh! Under CC effect. So, remove one beneficial effect, block beneficial effect, but target is under a CC effect. CC, taunt, silence, loot, whatever. And Pepe Spring. Unleash the crimson dark magic that travels, blah blah. Okay. So, ignore target damage reduction effect and block harmful effect removal. So, he can apply block beneficial effect and apply block harmful effect removal. Okay. And passive. Increases. Resist? What a useless. Anyway. Oh? Reflect. Reflect. Debuff. When enemy attempt to apply CC, CC, remove one beneficial effect. Yeah. So he seems like a Dark Beast Rider, yeah. When enemy trying to apply stun to him. Ah, so let's think about uh, silence. If Dark Dirt King uh, apply silence, then he remove one beneficial effect to Dark Dirt King and apply silence to her or so too. And if he can use it goes below, then he can also use it in Pepe's Ring. Oh, I think he's so tricky, yeah. And resist, you know, it's useless. Ultimate. Remove all beneficial effect. Block beneficial effect. Ultimate Pepe Spring. But there is no CC, that's sad. Okay, so I just make some brief review about the Slayer's collaboration monster. Rina Inverse, Gauri, and Jergadis. Uh, of course, this is the just brief review. Yeah, don't trust my word. But as I see, hmm, Rina Inverse, very good. Gauri, oh, seems also very good, but only in the PBE contents. Yeah. And Jergadis, for now, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Why they are removed two beneficial effect airborne damage taken up? Yeah, good. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, mm, and honestly, I think in Jergadis, <laughs> wind is much more general. Yeah, easy to use. I think dark is so tricky. But anyway, and in the LD dark Lina inverse. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, just like a uh, dark magic knight. How she could bad? Remove all beneficial effect and apply damage. Yo. And light gauri uh, seems like a counter of loot. Yeah. But I think uh, he is just a counter monster. Yeah. Not general usage. And Taku Jergadis. 
honestly seems interesting because when enemy apply CC to him, he remove enemy's beneficial effect and apply CC to. Mm, but he's not immune to CC and you know register is trash. Yeah, so I'm I don't know. Yeah, but I don't think Dark Jelgadis is good. Hmm. So anyway, uh, I try hard to get those monsters. Yeah. So looking forward to my arena lottery, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I hope this video helped you guys and take a long look. Goodbye.